this video lesson, we will discuss about illustration of quadratic equation. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to illustrate quadratic equations, write quadratic equations in standard form ax square plus bx plus c equals 0, and identify the values of a, b, and c in a given quadratic equation. First, i-review muna natin kung ano ba ang linear equation. Linear equations are equations which involve one variable and the highest exponent of the variable is 1. Example, 4x plus 6 equals 14. Based sa definition, ito ay isang equation na merong isang variable. Ang variable natin dito ay yung x. At ang highest exponent ng variable na ito ay 1. Sa example natin, wala tayong nakikitang exponent sa variable. Kapag ang exponent ng isang variable ay 1, hindi na natin ito kailangang isulat. Next, define naman natin kung ano ba ang quadratic equation. Quadratic equations are equations which involve one variable and the highest exponent of the variable is 2. Example, 5x square minus 9 equals 0. Katulad sa linear equation, meron ding isang variable sa quadratic equation at ito ay ang variable na x. Ang highest exponent naman ng variable sa quadratic equation ay 2. Sa example natin, meron tayong makikitang exponent sa variable x na 2. Para mas maintindihan kung ano ba ang pagkakaiba ng quadratic equation sa ibang equations, magbibigay tayo ng mga examples ng mga quadratic at not quadratic equations. Sa table, makikita natin ang mga examples ng quadratic equations at not quadratic equations. Under quadratic equations, we have x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. 3x squared minus 9 equals 0. x squared equals 15. And 4x equals 3x squared plus 8. These are quadratic equations kasi meron silang isang variable na x at meron tayong makikitang exponent na 2. So proceed naman tayo dito sa mga not quadratic equations. We have 4x minus 12 equals 0. The highest exponent is 1. Next, 2x cubed minus 3x equals 1. The highest exponent is 3. Next, x raised to 5 equals 4x minus 1. The highest exponent is 5. And last one, the product of x and 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. The highest exponent is 3. So, we will multiply x to, to the expression 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. x times 3x squared is equal to 3x cubed. So, kahit na may makikita tayong square doon sa expression na 3x squared, hindi pa rin natin ito consider as quadratic equation since hindi pa siya nakasimplify. Sa pag-identify kung ang isang equation ay quadratic equation, kailangan muna natin i-check kung nakasimplify ba yung isang given equation. Again, quadratic equations are equations which involve one variable and the highest exponent of the variable is 2. Quadratic equations are of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a is not equal to 0. A quadratic equation written in this way is said to be in its standard form. 
ax square plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. In the equation, ax square is the quadratic term. Ito yung term na merong kasamang variable na merong exponent na 2. bx is the linear term. Ito yung term na merong kasamang variable na may exponent na invisible 1. c is the constant term. Ito yung term na walang kasamang variable. Again, Pag sinabing standard form, nasa unahan ang quadratic term, followed by linear term, then the constant term equals 0. Bakit nga ba hindi pwedeng maging 0 ang a? Ano ba ang mangyayari sa equation kung 0 ang value ng a? Sa equation, try natin i-substitute ang 0 sa a. We know that any number multiplied to 0 is 0. So, makakancel out lang dito yung variable natin na may exponent na 2. Matitira na lang ay bx plus c. At hindi na makoconsider ito na quadratic equation since wala na siyang variable na may exponent na 2. Let's have an example. Write the following quadratic equations into its standard form, then identify the values of a, b, and c. Example number 1, x squared minus 7x plus 4 equals 0. It is a quadratic equation and is already in its standard form. The value of a here is 1. Kapag wala kayong nakikitang numerical coefficient sa mga terms na may kasamang variable, automatic ang value nun ay 1. Next, the value of b is negative 7 and c is 4. Example number 2. The product of 3x and x minus 2 equals 10. This is a quadratic equation. However, it is not written in standard form. So, ita-transform natin itong equation na ito into standard form by expanding the product and making one side of the equation 0. I-distribute natin ang 3x sa x minus 2. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x equals 10. Transpose 10 to the left side of the equation. So, from positive 10, magiging siyang negative 10. Tandaan, kapag naglilipat tayo ng mga numbers from right to left of the equation and vice versa, magpapalit tayo ng sign. So, yung nakuha nating equation ay 3x squared minus 6x minus 10 equals 0. At ito ay nasa standard form na. Next, identify naman natin ang mga values ng a, b, at c. a is 3, b is negative 6, and c is negative 10. Example number 3, negative 9 plus 2x square equals 0. This is a quadratic equation but not written in standard form. Pagpalitin natin ng pwesto ang negative 9 at 2x square. Makukuha nating equation ay 2x square minus 9 equals 0, which is already in standard form. Kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayong linear term. Pwede natin i-rewrite yan as 2x square plus 0x minus 9 equals 0. Wala tayong linear term kasi yung value ng binatin dito ay 0. So, makakancel out lang siya. The value of a is 2, b is 0, and c is negative 9. Example number 4. The product of x plus 2 and x minus 3 equals negative 6. 
This is also a quadratic equation but not written in standard form. Just like in example number 2, we will expand the product and make one side of the equation 0. We will expand this using FOIL method. First, we will multiply the first term of each factor. x times x is x squared. Next, the outer term. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Next, the inner term. 2 times x is 2x. Next, the last term. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Equals negative 6. Combine like terms, negative 3x and 2x is negative 1x or simply negative x. So we have the equation x squared minus x minus 6 equals negative 6. Transpose negative 6 to the left side of the equation, we have x squared minus x minus 6 plus 6 equals 0. Combine negative 6 and 6, cancel out since this is 0. So we have x squared minus x plus 0 equals 0 or simply x squared minus x equals 0. The value of a here is 1, b is negative 1, and c is 0. For your activity, identify which of the following are quadratic equations. Write each quadratic equation in standard form, then identify the values of A, B, and C. Number 1. The product of x minus 6 and x plus 5 equals 5. Number 2. Quantity 2x minus 5 plus 2 equals 0. Number 3. The product of x and x plus 4 equals 0. Number 4, the product of x and x squared minus 2x equals 0. Pwede nyong i-comment sa comment box ang inyong mga sagot. That's all for now. Sana marami kayong natutunan sa video lesson na ito. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe para updated kayo lagi sa mga i-upload ko pang mga video lessons. Paalam!